Rumi, a rhino who was a foodie, lived in a forest. He enjoyed eating the food of other animals, too. One day, all the animals went on a picnic. They all settled near a pool. After keeping all their things, they went to play. When all the animals were playing, Rumi was busy eating the variety of food brought by other animals. Rumi ate up almost all the food. After playing for a while, all the animals, including their young ones, returned to the poolside to have their lunch. Their faces fell when they saw the empty plates and bowls. Their tummies rumbled with hunger. And they looked up at their elders with big, pleading eyes. Where's the food? But Rumi's selfishness had left them with nothing to eat. All the animals were angry at Rumi's selfishness and greed. The elephant, twitching his trunk with anger. He addressed the group of animals gathered around. Rumi's selfishness has ruined our picnic. He ate up all the food, not even leaving a morsel for our little ones. They are hungry, and we are far from home. What can we do now? The monkey said, Maybe we can find some berries. Or fruits nearby? The turtle suggested. We could gather leaves and roots. It won't be as tasty. But it will fill our bellies. The rabbit, with a nod, added optimistically. Let's all work together. We'll find something. And next time, we won't invite Rumi, unless he learns to share. The elephant, calming down a bit, said, All right. Let's search for food. After returning from the disappointing picnic, the animals gathered again to discuss Rumi's behavior. The fox said, We must do something about Rumi. He needs to learn his lesson and realize his mistake. The rabbit, nodding in agreement, said, The elephant said, Let's teach Rumi a lesson he won't forget. I have an idea. The fox exclaimed. Let's bake a cake. And we will put soap in it. When Rumi takes a bite, he will soon realize his mistake. The monkey scratched his head. Intrigued. How will that help? The fox smiled and said, Well, when Rumi starts blowing bubbles, everyone will see and laugh. Maybe then he will understand why sharing is important. The rabbit giggled. That sounds funny. Let's do it. 
The turtle nodded in agreement. It's a harmless way to teach him a lesson. The elephant, pleased with the plan, declared. All right then, let's bake that cake. This will be a surprise for Rumi. And with smiles, the animals set off to create a cake. That would deliver a valuable lesson to their food-loving friend. The animals arranged a party and prepared a cake with soap in it. When Rumi came, the elephant said, Oh, what a delicious cake! Let's play first and enjoy it after a while. Rumi couldn't resist the cake. As soon as the animals went away, he ate the cake all by himself. Soon, bubbles started coming out of his mouth. All the animals came back now. They saw Rumi and burst into laughter. Rumi felt ashamed and realized that it is not good to be selfish. I'm sorry, friends. Rumi said sheepishly. I realize now that I made a mistake. I shouldn't have eaten everyone's food. Without asking. I didn't treat you all well. The elephant, looking understanding, nodded. It's okay, Rumi. Just remember next time. The rabbit hopped closer and said, We forgive you, Rumi. Just try to think of others. Before eating next time. From that day forward, whenever the animals gathered for a picnic or any event, they shared their food with each other. Moral Sharing is important. When we are selfish and take more than our share, it can hurt others. It's better to think about others and share what we have.